that universal consciousness uh, when it's uh, divided into multiple possibilities it creates a different uh, resonances vibrations and then the world can start into a being that highest highest potential the highest possible technique method that we can use that is the closest to that uni universal consciousness is the sound is the vibration is the resonance and that's called mantra uh, so for instance the highest mantra is om and if you divide om into a different qualities you have a different mantras different sounds like uh, different sounds that if you connect them back you again get these 7.32 hertz which is on mm. uh, if you go a little bit a little bit lower in that evolution of universe from sound is created a, a pattern a shape it's like a light then it's frozen in time and then you get this yantra the the basic geometrical shapes that is basically a different representation of that sound in visual matter like you freeze the light in time if you go a little bit lower you get mandala which is 3d representation it's already manifested and it creates some matter already and then you go uh, even lower and then for the lowest layer of the consciousness for the material world you create uh, a story or an idol or a picture because you from that sound that it's for instance uh, a shrim shrim is the mantra of some specific shape that that creates that vibration creates that matter and it also is a mantra of Lakshmi, like Goddess Lakshmi. And Lakshmi can be personified uh, in some shape and form as a, uh, as a feminine uh, energy or as a woman that looks like a woman but has these symbolic representations with many arms and many symbols around her. And the same quality is Shreem. And these people, these Rishis, that were able to expand their consciousness, touch something which is universal and had that connection, they, they saw it was revealed to them, uh, that sound and its quality. And to be able to translate it to a language for people who are in the lower, lowest consciousness, they had to create um, uh, different tools and methods how to work with that. Because if you don't understand what mantra is and that some sound or vibration is creating the universe, you can use mandala you can uh, you can use uh, some right. physical technique you can use your breath or you can use a symbol that you worship and by worshiping that symbol that represents that quality like lakshmi represents the quality of abundance uh, uh, like a bliss and uh, material and emotional and psychical and spiritual abundance and if you focus your attention, your mind into that picture, onto that energy, that quality, your energy flows there. And you are start thinking about it, that you are acting uh, according to that. And you promote these qualities in your life. And you can do that by focusing on that idol or worshipping that picture. Or you can do it through repeating the mantra Shreem. It's just a different level of the practice. Yeah, I see. I understand. That's crazy. That's amazing. Mm -hmm.